Hi everyone, this is Sar from Boltport. I always like finding something and use it for something it wasn't intended for. I saw my girlfriend's uh, hair straightener and I thought, hey, I could use it for some soldering. So I got uh, one from Amazon for about 15 pounds. Um, there are cheaper ones, but I had to get some something that has a few things that I was concerned about that would help me with um, using this thing for reflow soldering of boards. So firstly, uh, it goes from 150 to 230 degrees centigrade uh, with, the, with the dial here. So it's an analog dial. Some of them come with a digital uh, interface jumping for uh, at 10 degrees, uh, which I think is also fine. Um, two plates. These are called floating plates. My girlfriend once had both of these floating and I needed that because I was concerned that the, the plates wouldn't be parallel. Uh, in this case it seems to be fine. There's a swivel uh, cord which is uh, nice when you need to get it level on the, on, on the table and you could lock it into place. This one if you jig it a little bit uh, you get parallel plates which is kind of nice. Uh, some some other ones I've seen have a dial so you can lock it at various positions. I put some Captain tape on the bottom plate here. Uh, these are ceramic plates and I thought it would be useful. So um, I'm hoping to get a good reflow. Uh, what's different about this is uh, than a, just a regular hot plate is you can get localized uh, rework or, or reflow of uh, components and um, you get hot air or you get heat from radiating from both directions to the bottom at the top and then you have less of a temperature differential due to the airflow on the top when you're using a regular uh, hot plate. So pretty decent for, for 15 pounds uh, commoditized hardware which is um, kind of neat and hopefully it's gonna it's gonna work well. I'm gonna use this low temperature solder paste. Should start reflowing at 140 degrees and have complete reflow at uh, around 180. So well within the temperature range of this hair straightener. Uh, prepare the board. A little bit of solder paste. Uh, I hope that it's not too little, but um, I'm pretty sure it's gonna work nicely. Let's see. So we're set up and I'm going to start with about 150, 160 degrees. It heats up very fast and within 10 seconds or so I think it's going, to, it's going to get to temperature and I'm going to close the top bit here and just keep it like that. and start seeing the fumes coming up. Definitely something happening. Increase the temperature a little bit. Yeah, it looks like it's doing what it's supposed to. Yeah, a bit more. We'll increase the temperature slightly. Just to make sure. I'll need to do a heat profile on it, but 
as an attempt to see if this is plausible. That's good enough. Yep, that looks all right. That'll cool a little bit. Still pretty hot. Well, the soldering joints look uh, quite all right. Uh, not perfect. Like I said, uh, it probably needs to be a bit more um, characterized to make sure that the the heat profile uh, goes the way you want it. Um, but as a mechanism for doing some localized rework or um, working on boards that, or reflowing boards that have plastic components that you don't really want to heat up, uh, this could work quite quite well. I don't think it's a replacement for for an oven, uh, like a toaster oven or anything like that, but it um, uh, seems, seems to do the job.